chemical reaction right what is a chemical reaction you all know about it right yeah. now what are the types of chemical reaction so we are going to study types of the chemical reaction this lesson is this right we are not detailed here we are just having five different types of chemical reaction right five, five different types of chemical reaction the example which you have they have at least five or six examples each type but we will do it with one and two types right so yeah. we will try to finish it in this case. But it's easy, it's not difficult, right? Uh, chemical reaction is the reaction in which two chemicals combine and give their product, right? The reactants will be separated with a plus sign if the product are more than two or two. It will also be separated by a plus sign. Reactants will be separated from the product with the help of the arrow sign, right? So you have already studied it. The example which you can see right here, it's burning, right? What happened to the wax when you burn a candle? When you burn a candle, a chemical reaction occurs, which is called combustion reaction, right? Combustion reaction, right? The reaction which you can see, the burning of candle is a combustion reaction, right? Beside this, we are cooking. So you are cooking with the help of heat engines, right? So that's also a combustion reaction. Clear? So these reactions are divided into how many types? Five general types, right? On the other hand, we have different classification for the reaction, right? Based on the energy utilization, we say that we have two types, spontaneous and non-spontaneous, right? But complete general type for the reaction, we have five types. The first type which we are going to study, by classifying chemical reaction, you can more easily predict what product are likely to form. The five general types of the reactions include first combination reaction. The name combination look, you are going to combine something. Right? Yeah. Combining A plus B will give you A B. Right? Combining sodium and chlorine give you sodium chloride. It's a combination reaction. In which you are going to combine two things. The composition is opposite to combination in which you are able to split something into two or four right separating or decomposition right uh, single replacement or displacement reaction single replacement or displacement reaction and double replacement or displacement reaction so replacement what can suppose this line and this line i take one student and i replace Right, so this is what replacement. This is a single replacement. I take two students from here and I replace. Right, so this is what this is double, double, single and double. Next, we have combustion reaction. So combustion reaction is a reaction in which right, which you are going to burn something. Like the example, in the example you see on the first page, right. Like you are going to cook or burning the candies. That is what that is the example. Or the burning of candle. That is what that is combustion reaction. Now one by one we are going to check it. Not all reactions fit uniquely into one category. Why do we need five types of chemical reaction? Because all the reaction cannot be fit into one type, either into substituting, uh, either into combination, decomposition, uh, single, double. Replacement or combustion. So that's why we have five different types of the reaction. Reaction might fit equally well into two categories. Patterns of chemical behavior will become apparent and allow you to protect products of the reaction, right? So at the end, you will be able to. Okay. The first type of the reaction is the combination or synthesis reaction. Combining or synthesis. Combination reaction or synthesis reaction, right? 
so what is combination or what is a synthesis reaction okay if you look to the definition of combination or synthesis reaction so definition we have a combination reaction yeah right a combination reaction a combination is a chemical reaction in which two or more substances react to form a single new substance when two or more chemicals combine right and form a new substance right you are combining something like a plus b you take one a one b you combine both of them it give you what it give you a new product which is ab right here you have the example of magnesium in which magnesium is going to combine with oxygen in which what is going to happen in which magnesium is going to combine with the oxygen here you have what here you have magnesium here you have oxygen right both of them going to combine you are going to aid you are going to combine something and it will synthesize or it will produce what it will synthesize or it will produce the product which we have magnesium oxide right the chemical formula of magnesium we have mg it is in solid form it indicates solid form the chemical formula of oxygen we have o2 o2 is in which form uh, yeah it will be most of the form right yeah. okay the product which we will get that is magnesium oxide it is a solid form right so it is in the solid form clear one example with what is there is also o2 o2 and o1 that's a good question who can explain here we have o2 but here we have o the right flow because of some one so they are two at the beginning of the combination okay this is question that's a good question right you can see here balance chemical equation in the previous lesson we saw balance chemical equation Uh, we have magnesium, one magnesium atom, right? Uh, one, one magnesium, and here we have two oxygen, right? So the product which we will get it is MgO, magnesium oxide. So we we know that for a chemical substance or a chemical compound, we will have one right formula, right? So the right formula for magnesium oxide is MgO, right? So when you write MgO, so here we have one magnesium and one oxygen, right? But here we have two magnesium and two oxygen, right? So what you have to do to balance it, we will put here two, right? So this two is applicable to magnesium and also to oxygen, right? So here we have two oxygen atoms. Here now we have two because this two is applicable to magnesium and oxygen both. Clear? Okay. Okay. Uh, next we have this is the explanation of the previous. Uh, reaction which i give notice that in this reaction as in all the combination reaction the product is a single substance which is mgo right which is a compound so the reactant we have its magnesium and its oxygen right two elements but the product we have only one the two compounds may also combine to form a single substance it's easy right another example you have here for combination reaction which is between potassium and chlorine right when potassium combines with chlorine it will give you potassium chloride it will give you potassium chloride the chemical formula for potassium is k and the chemical formula for chlorine you have it is cl right and when both of them combine so it will give you a product which is potassium chloride right but if you look here so both of them are this is metal and this is non metal so when one metal and one non metal combine it will give you an ionic compound right and this is a binary compound here one metal one non metal compound will be ionic compound right it will give you an ionic compound so binary is a sub type of ionic compound right mono ionic uh, mono and binary okay okay do we need to take another example or not for a com combination it is fine right so we will go to the second type second okay decomposition reaction 
if you look to the second example and the second type second type we have decomposition reaction right so define who will define decomposition reaction uh, so you can Okay, decomposition reaction is that reaction in which a single compound decompose or split into products. A single compound, a single substance decompose or split into the product. Two, three, nine, uh, Oh, that, yes, that is also decomposition reaction. Yes, that is also decomposition. Some chemical reaction are the opposite of combination reaction. In combination, we are combining something. In decomposition, we are splitting something. Yeah. Opposite, right? Example you have of mercury two oxide or mercury oxide, right? So when you give heat to mercury oxide or two oxide. It decomposed or break down into two simpler substance, right? This you have example of mercury two oxide, right? Or we can say mercury oxide HGO, right? When you give heat to it, when you heat it, right? So it will split, it will decompose into two simple substance. And the first simple substance, if you look to mercury oxide, it is made from which element? From mercury and from oxygen, right? So when you give heat, it will give you right. It will give you mercury and oxygen. It will give you what? It will give you mercury and oxygen, right? So we that one compound is when you heat mercury to oxide, it will give you what? It will give you product, two products. One will be oxygen and other will be mercury, right? So again, you can see this is the chemical formula of what uh, mercury oxide, and this is now when you give heat, right? It will give you what? It will give you mercury, and it will give you oxygen. It is. It's not relation, but worse. This point. Okay. Note this point. Heat, right? When there is heat, there is no problem. When there is catalyst, when there is heat, it will not be normal reaction, right? It needs energy, right? Splitting need energy. So if it's need energy, right? So normal reaction, it is not by itself, right? But this is decomposition reaction, and it needs energy. Energy is, is given from here. Right? Okay. Next, we have a decomposition reaction is a chemical change in which a single compound breaks down into two or more simple products. Right? Decomposition reaction involves only one reactant or more product, two or more products. Product is not specific. It will be two, it will be three, right? Or it will be more. But the reactor should be. One right, the decomposer should be one. The product can be any combination of elements and compounds. The product can be element or either it can be compound, right? It can be element or it can be compound. Most decomposition reaction required energy in the form of heat, light, or electricity. Most of the reaction, right? Most of the uh, decomposition reaction, it needs energy, right? You have to give energy from outside. So energy can be given in the form of heat. In the form of light or in the form of electric current. Clear? Okay. The second example which we will do, uh, which we will do here it is about this, right? Uh, the second example is: Did you know that a decomposition reaction happens when a vehicle airbag and inflation, right? Airbag, a reaction which occurs in airbag, right? So in airbag, a device. They trigger the reaction is placed in the bag along with the sodium iodide plate, right? Sodium iodide plate. When the device is triggered, the sodium iodide plate decomposes and releases nitrogen gas, which inflates the airbag. The reaction which will occur here, it is sodium iodide Na Na3 plus Na. Uh, sorry, it will decompose, right? Sodium iodide will decompose. Sodium uh, iodide will decompose and it will give you sodium uh, Na and Na2. 
It will give you sodium and it will give you N2. N and N. N A N N2. Sodium N2. N A N N2. N A is sodium. N2 is nitrogen. Right? So it will give you these two products. Do you need another example? No. No, right? No. Part. Okay. We will go to the third type. Okay. Single replacement reaction and double replacement reaction, right? So the first we have single replacement reaction. Dropping a small piece of potassium into a beaker of water creates the vigorous reaction. If you look here, so in this reaction, we have what? In this reaction, we have potassium plus water. How they are going to replace? So potassium is going to replace hydrogen, right? You can see potassium and H2O. What is being replaced? The released hydrogen gas can ignite explosively. Hmm. Potassium plus hydrogen form potassium oxide and uh, hydrogen gas. What is being replaced? Huh? Do we have hydrogen here? Yes. Where it is? No, no. We don't have hydrogen. So what is replaced? Hydrogen is replaced by the potassium. Look, hydrogen is addition. So mean from the from the compound, the hydrogen is being removed. Where? No, no. Potassium replaces hydrogen. So hydrogen is removed, right? Potassium is here. Hydrogen is replaced. Hydrogen is removed. Look, hydrogen is separate. This is not hydrogen. OH is not hydrogen. OH is hydroxide ion. OH is not hydroxide ion. It's hydroxide ion. Hydrogen we have here is separate now. Look, if you have water molecules, if you have water molecules and we say that you give heat to it, right? It decomposes, so it will give you hydrogen and it will give you hydroxide ion, right? It will give you hydrogen and it will give you OH ion, right? So OH ions are oxygen and hydrogen, right? It is a hydroxide ion. What is OH? OH is hydroxide ion. So potassium replaced here hydrogen. Hydrogen is removed and potassium is remaining here. Yes, So you want to go to break? Yes. Okay, just give me three minutes. Those students. This one. This is the Break in the break, I will stay in the class. I got to talk about the other thing. Those students who need to move on, so you can go to one of my class. Now we can go to the next week. Okay, so single replacement reaction is that, right? Do I need to give you another example for single replacement reaction? Yes. Here you have the second example, right? If you drop a piece of zinc into a solution, a solution of the copper nitrate, this reaction occurs. Zinc plus copper nitrate, right? You have a solution of copper nitrate, but you put a piece of zinc. Copper nitrate, you have a solution, but you put what? Zinc one piece. So now it is a single replacement reaction, right? Copper nitrate plus zinc nitrate. So now we were here in the solution, we have copper nitrate, and in the product, we have. Zinc nitrate. So zinc replace copper. Zinc replace copper, right? You can see copper is separate here now. Copper is removed from the equation solution. Copper is removed. It is replaced by the zinc. So it means zinc replaced copper. Clear? It will stay there. No, no, it will be separate from it now. Look, this plus sign means. Then we get two products. One copper and one we have zinc. So this reactant is reactant. This reactant. No, this reactant. Huh? Reactant. No, no. No, it's a product. So we. How is it? The product is must be one. Huh? No, it's not a product. It can be more than. It can be another. They take the zinc. Yes. This is replacement. Replacement means that 
zinc is going to replace copper. So replacement is what to change the place. That is a place, right? Okay. When the two students come, they will come. Okay. Next we have the another example you are asked the same. Next we have double replacement reaction, right? This one is more easy. Double is more easy, right? We already have. Okay. Double is more easy. No, no, it's more easy. Mixing equal solution of potassium iodide and lead. We have a solution of potassium iodide and lead. Lead nitrate result in a chemical reaction in which a yellow precipitation of the sodium lead to iodide is formed. So when this yellow precipitate comes, it means reaction happens, right? Look to the reaction. What is mean by double replacement reaction, right? Double replacement reaction in which double replacement happens, right? Not one. Which two replacement? They are going to exchange their place. Two elements are going to exchange their place. That is the first double replacement reaction. Like you can see here, the first example here we have it is the first compound we have potassium iodide, which have a chemical formula Ki, potassium and iodide, and it is going to react with what? It is going to react with the lead iodide. The chemical formula of lead is Pb and Lead, uh, lead nitride sorry, right? And it is NO3. So when both of them combine, look to the product. The product you will get that will be lead iodide and that will be potassium nitride. Lead iodide, so mean from potassium is going to replace lead and iodine is going to replace nitride. So one will become potassium iodide and other will become potassium uh, one will become lead iodide and other will become potassium nitrate mean they exchange their place right but, uh, yes two products, but two products they the react uh, the one chemical they completely exchange the best potassium change its place with the lead <laughs> just one minute. okay so the four, Okay, the fifth type we will study in the next lesson, right? Fifth type.